Hey guys, Elvin Mark, we're here at Marina Bay, right next to Clifford Pier. And we're gonna do a quick test right now. It's a little fountain area that they just shut down. Question is, will this apple float on water? Let's try this. It does, guys. So the answer is the apple actually floats, right? Because an apple is about 25% air, right? And the density of an apple is much lighter than water. So let's take it one notch up to a larger experiment now. Will this glass apple float? Here we go, guys. Welcome to the Apple Store here at Marina Bay Sands. So once again, there's a little bit of everything. There's this glass enclosure, just like Jewel Jewel has 9,000 glass panels. But of course, these glass panels are a lot larger. That's why there's only 114 of them. It's also like uh, Gardens by the Bay where you have trees, you know, flora and fauna inside this glass dome. This up over here is the exit and entrance is via the mall. No go guys. I didn't bring my canvas. What? Okay, sorry folks for all those who are really excited, even myself, um, wanting to see me paint this gem of a building. I'm going to just make an ink sketch with this pen of this building. Yeah, let's do it. It is clear that in this sketch, that if I would like to include people in the foreground, I would have to sketch them first. Because the shape of this building is a sphere, it is important that when I draw in the mullions or the vertical and horizontal beams, they stay in perspective. The result will be a stronger and more believable sphere. So this is Elvin Mark, thanks for joining me. What? No, oh, this? No, oh, this is another apple. Guys, sorry about being a class again in this episode. Thank you for joining me to come see this architectural site on the bay. Hmm. Hang on a minute. I think I have some more time on my hands. I really want to paint this and for all of you who are still watching, you deserve to see this paint out. Guys, this is day two. I came back here to make this painting for your entertainment pleasure. I've chosen this angle because I really want to have something else rather than just painting the sphere. This exit ramp adds to the composition of the piece. It's gradient is at an angle so it gives a playful and not so static feel to the scene. Also the shaded area that I'm at is definitely a bonus on this very warm morning. Remember this in 101 art school? This is essentially what I'll be putting down on the canvas. There is going to be a light source, a dark side, and a whole lot of gradient to make this a convincing sphere. Stopping to check on the shapes, yes, I think I've gotten most of it right. This shadow under the rim is a little too dark, so I'm going to lighten that. The dark is over here, and the light source hits this area over on the other side, right around here. It's color time, but first I'm going to push the dark side a little bit more. I'm going to block the sky and the body of water first. Next, I'll be gradating the tones on the sphere to make sure that it gradates to a point of the hotspot. And the hotspot is the brightest spot on the sphere, right? 
we can see that very clearly behind on the building. It is brighter but not white in color. Compare the hot spot of the sphere with the surrounding clouds. It is important in oil painting that shapes have to be refined and redrawn if necessary. Once again, by refining the vertical columns and the horizontal lines, I'm going to make the form stronger. Lastly, I add the reflection on the bay and on the glass for a more natural look. This time lapse is taken at a 2 second interval, so you can almost imagine how quickly the clouds are moving in real time. I'm going to have to end this sketch soon as I have an appointment to meet. You know, I was just thinking, first the cube, then the sphere, the next Apple store could be in the shape of a pyramid. That was crazy guys, so from over here, we're gonna move in there. Guys, it's ticketed, so if you're interested, download the Apple Store app to book a ticket to come in here. And the entrance is from Marina Bay Sands. Let's check in. There we go. Thank you. I just want to say something really important. It's really nice and cool in here. <laughs> Hi Gordon. Yeah. Okay, we only allocated 15 minutes in there. I don't think I'll be able to number one browse and make a sketch. But we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll check out the crowd and we'll see how, how it is. There is a line, not long, but there is a line. All the social distancing ambassadors are around. Rightly so. Hi. 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 Uh, you, uh, can I just get an appointment time? 12. Oh, for it? Just yeah. give me a minute, ah. Huh? Sure. Hey, can I get a name, sir? Alvin. Give me a minute, ah. Huh? Yeah. Twelve fifteen, right? That's right. Okay, and your your name, sir? Alvin. Alvin, uh, yeah. Alvin, Mr. Tan. Yes. That's okay. Right. <laughs> Just want to confirm it's definitely you. Sure. And you're here for anything in particular today? Uh, just browse and uh, we'll see how crowded it is. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. This time we'll make a sketch. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do is I'm just going to have you follow the black colour line. Mm. Uh, so just step on the next available marker. Yeah? <laughs> in the queue. Don't need to all the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello, afternoon. Are you Elvin Tan? Yes. Okay, yes. So you just want to browse around the song? That's right. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And if there are a few people up there, I'll, I'll make a quick sketch. Okay. Yeah. So this is Jim. Sure. Hi, hi Jim. Hi, hi, hi. welcome. Alvin. Yeah. Sketch. Okay. So he's also a good sketch. Oh, cool. Yeah. Very so cool. For our session right here, we have about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Yep. I uh, hope that is uh, enough for the sketch. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, welcome to the Apple Store. Thank you. Yeah, so right here, right, we have the basement floor. So I'll try to. Uh, Maintain a two meter distance from you. Sure. For your safety. All three, yeah. yeah. And then the mask will be at all times. Okay. okay. I'm those. Yeah. yeah. So I think it would be definitely anticipating to see the door. Yeah, yeah. that's Is right. Is there anything here that you would like to take a look at? Um, just browse, just browse, sure. whatever is around yeah. here. So yeah. basically, right, this is the music section. Okay. And there's, of course, our latest uh, Apple TV section. Uh, have you heard the good news? We have uh, recently glass? the Apple One. Hi, glass? Uh, Apple One plan. Apple One, right? It's like a subscription bundle. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. the TV, the oh, arcade, glass, yeah. the music. Okay. Oh, you thought it's the glass? Eye glass, yeah. Uh, I think I'm also Soon. quite interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think that one may be quite big a while. Like. Okay. So this is the health bay. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
Okay. And right here, right, you have the the second store in the whole Apple universe, the world, right, which is a full Apple Watch strap day. Wow. Um. The the first the first, the first is New York. New York. The cube. Yeah. So it's a it's a pretty cool concept, like you know, grab and go. The customers can come and see the different straps and the seasonal okay. latest items. Okay. And just I used to be into swatch, so this is amazing. Uh, this is what we call the solo loops. So, okay. braided loops. Okay. Yeah. So, you can it there. Okay, cool. Uh, you see, this is the only store in the world with an escalator. Uh, with a British store and designers and German engineers. German engineers are more than the breeders, including the soap. Yeah. Yeah. Have a look. Sure, thank you. Alright, guys, first look. <laughs> English designers and uh, German engineers. Can't get better than that. So you can see both the sides right here are actually not mirrors, they are actually polished steel. Okay. And even the escalator is like rigged with our own space grey color for the buildings. Oh, so they okay. are actually the one that you can find on your, uh, you know, the Apple phone Watch or straps yeah. and the phones as yeah. well. So, right above you is the Oculus. Yeah, wow. Which is the small space that's inspired from the Pantheon of the Yeah, that's right. Wow. So this is really? about uh, 140 yeah. Yeah. With 10 uh, uh, connectors, Moolean co connectors that, that hold it together. Yeah. So it's a self-supporting structure. Yeah. Let me just show you this. Yeah. Okay. We've been doing running it for the past five years. Finally, it's come to fruition. I was around here during the Chinese New Year and flying with Rome. I saw yeah the structure coming out. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, back then. Yeah, definitely. Room with a view. The color choice of materials used in this dome are thematically synchronized from the type of leather to the ficus trees. The leather seeds are the same material that makes the Apple Watches and are also from the same factory. I'm just wondering why they didn't pick the apple tree instead. and can squeeze in a sketch and the staff here are being very nice about it so I'll be pointing my sketchbook towards the huge display screen for an interior shot of this dome. Enjoy! Sketcher also. <laughs> Thank you. Do I have to press anything? Oh. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much, Avi. Thank you. Yeah. And that was a wrap. Thanks for joining me here at Marina Bay Sands. We're uh, going by the scenery route. And yeah, buy Apple. So a few things that we learned today. And the most important thing is that apples float on water. <laughs> Thanks for staying put until the end of the program. You actually get to see a painting I actually came back here again. Uh, when the weather was fine and dandy to make this painting. So always good to watch till the end. Until the next episode guys, ciao ciao.